How did I go through? It must have been during, like, the final battle of, um... I don't know, I think I repaired everything after the main game. Yeah, or like, I don't know, like, maybe everything got damaged after the big hullabaloo that went on down in that game, in the end of the main game, and then DLC wear and tear. The last DLC. What? No hints? No nothing? No nothing. Well, now I think the Lord is, a. Uh, Maybe gonna be a bit peeved that his house was turned into a, a murder house. Oh, but this is not like actually somebody's house. This is just his vineyard, right? Because uh, I don't think a nobleman would live in that house. Look at these candles. Yeah, apparently, I meant to actually go back and check. In the last DLC, you could extinguish the candles in the scholar's room while he was like still alive. And apparently something uber creepy happened. And I did not even think about it because I just ignore candles now because I'm like, eh, you know. Anything to loot? Loot? I don't know. I think that's just crafting material, so I don't think it's going to be sellable. But what a pretty little vineyard this is. Too bad there's some... Oh, are the birds gone? Oh, young birdies are gone. The birds are gone. Ah! Hmm. Can full-fledged vampires command, Bruxa? I wonder. But that hand seemed to be, um... Looked like a giant hand or, or something. It was big and <gasps> peacocks! Whoa! I thought that bush was I thought it was like a bush that was just popping into like the like field of view or whatever, you know? Like I was like I just thought it was like grass growing wow. really fast as the draw distance tried to catch up with what I was doing, but they're freaking peacocks! Peacock! <laughs> like holy crap that bush it's not a bush it's a peacock uh how far away not too far uh oh actually i think it wants me to fast travel i don't know let's see oh ooh, nice okay thank you oh thank you for differentiating the two i appreciate that hold on let me zoom out near okay where's the world map World map, world map, world map. Aha, so we are so south, okay. Oh my gosh, we are so far from home. Okay. Um, oh, it's just right there. Is this where the Duchess lives? Like, this is a, like her home, her home, her hometown? Constructed on elven ruins, Corvo Bianco, known as Gwyn Serbin in the Elder Speech, was one of the oldest vineyards of the duchy and producer of a startlingly unique wine, Sepramento. Sadly, the rakish lifestyle of one of its owners, the last member of the Boulia slime, drove the possession into ruin. That's why it doesn't look very good. The next owner, Baron Russell, tried to return the vineyard to its former glory, but to no avail. Corvo Bianco was then auctioned off and eventually passed under the control of the ducal treasury. Interesting, interesting. We're just gonna follow this road. Hopefully that little town that the Duchess is in has a little place where I can get my stuff repaired. Heck yeah, man. I'm kind of curious if there's any different plants that I can find along the way, too. Oh, wow. That's pretty. I mean, it's been, it's what's been in the background for a while. Is this another place? Yeah, apparently. Whoa, orphanage. This is not a place I want to be. Oh, hi. Uh-huh, yeah, I feel you, lady. I feel you. Okay, you creepy children everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Hey, yo, did you notice there's, like, a whole bunch of dead people back there? You should probably check that out. Oh, can I go this way?
I suppose I can't just go right into the castle. I can't just walk right in. Be like, yo, hey, I'm here on a request. Because even in what I've read of the books, taking requests from noble people and... Or maybe not nobles, but like royal people, never works out. And from what little I recall of two. Oh, sweet. I just got a candy bar. In real life, girl can't have any. Hello. Thank you. Oh my gosh, hello. Uh, is it you? Armor chromed, engraved, or fluted. Whatever your heart How about desire. usable? Let's see what you got in stock. Buy my swords. Oh, wow. What? I'm this close, though. Um, how much money do you have? Mm. Holy cow. I have a lot of money. Alright, I'll at least get rid of ones that are just taking up space. Oh, that's right. I have, uh, I could use that Ophir crossbow instead of the one I have. Okay, fine. You can have my... Uh, thank you, good sir. Thank you. I appreciate your business. You're a pal, ma'am. You're a pal. Also, could you repair my stuff? Wait, will you repair my swords? Yes, please. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Fine. Hi. Right. Okie dokie, Smokey. Oh my gosh, sweet. So long. So. Are you. I didn't see if he was a master crafter. Uh, I'll probably have to find somebody special for that, I would assume, and then do like a mission for them. Or, take it back to the guys I already know. Good man. I need a fresh and lady. Right and right and a prince. The racing, the racing model. Oh, you don't seem like a bad guy. Are you like cleaning off a metal? Or a money pack? Looks like you're. Was that a pear? Or like a piece of fruit or a vegetable? And you just dropped it on the ground. You just. You were cleaning it off and you drop it on the ground. What if. What? Show me your sword. Oh, uh, no. Palmyra. Where's my Palmyra, pal? Are you regaling the children with tales of your exploits? Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh <laughs> Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. 
All my face right, speaks of urgency. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pomerine. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. Oh, we can't this resist one last Rivia, little story. The master witcher who lent his folly and <coughs> Do I look terrifying? I'm sure I do. Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue Oh, God. Oh, I was going to do something snarky about it earlier, but I didn't. Um. Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins. Sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Palmer and Story, think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends Ooh. that can count on. The rogue? Well, you can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I no. must agree. Now, that will do for questions. That Go was good, I friends. like that. Oh, he's so good with kids. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. That woman's really, sobbing because she be can't time get in. to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Okay. Who's fighting? Elf guardian gladiators? <laughs> what the heck? Close, but not quite. As we'll soon see. Someone's gonna fight a shale mar, give him some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. What I thought is the problem. The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Oh. Um. This is dangerous. Bells on its tail aren't enough. I saw a spectacle of the sort of the arena in Nunyo. There, a knight hunted a Shelmar with bells on its tail. Might have gotten lucky. Shelmar might have been lame. Who knows? And the Witcher has a real chance against a healthy Shelmar. Guess what I'm fighting in a minute. Besides which, releasing a monster that dangerous in front of a car. Yeah, like why? What the heck? Geralt's just like, let me just, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. As a professional, this irks me. <laughs> Who's going to fight the beast? The young, young man you met. Oh, he's going to die? Great. Mentioned he promised his heart's well, capture a monster what? trophy. Why didn't he just... Great love demands great sacrifices. Why didn't he just take the thing? Why didn't I just give him the head of the giant? Like, what the frick? And that just is cool with this? Oh yeah, let's let healthy young men destroy themselves on monsters that they can't defeat. Let's go. Pretty sword, I have a pretty sword. And this is Hershey's chocolate, so it's not good. Yeah. Well, it was nice knowing you, young man. Fresh-faced, young, Alistair-looking type guy. Generic 1.0. It was good knowing you. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair Lady Vivian. I hope Lady Vivian can get over it quickly. She didn't look very pleased. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Oh my gosh, that thing's face is nasty. Guess who's gonna have to jump in there and save the day? Got a bad feeling about this. Yep! It's a good thing Geralt's here! Yeah, now it's using the bells as a weapon. Holy crap! That was an accident. It was a complete accident. Damn it. And the bells just fell off! Oh, crap. We have to help him. 
Are we allowed to? <laughs> oh my. Wait, 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 wait,
crap, I don't have it. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. I can try to break it out of here, maybe. I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Um... takes fire damage. At least that's something, I guess. Okay, so... What is it doing? What is it do- Unfair! 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 I was standing super still on purpose! so many bombs I have. Like, maybe I should have it go out the wooden gate. Maybe. I don't know. seeing me. So I get to distract it with bombs. I'm gonna need to meditate after this. I mean, this could potentially be a really used... Well, hang on, let's just, I guess... Just,
dang it, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. <laughs> oh crap, wait. Over there, just go over there. I hate it, it's, it doesn't even say no damage being done. It just, just is like, nah. Palisade should be collapsing right now. about that guy, it probably affected something in later on down the line that I let him die. The Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. I just threw a whole bunch of poison grenades in the air too, good luck everyone. Some life seep from the beast. Geralt does not like being here. He's not an entertainer. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Yeah, okay. That's my job. It suffered enough. Hmm. I kind of didn't want it just because she told me to, but... The monster last slain! The fight is done! It's my job. Grace Kill monsters. be the victors! Forgive I don't me. know how you... I am not as nimble as in my younger years. Oh! You fought bravely. You're not you dead! Me. You're not dead! Guillaume, the lot came down too close oh. to dying. I'm... fine. It hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Oh boy. She's gonna rebuff him because she's like, you know, a terrible person. Girl, Look at that Duchess's hair! You must talk. Vivian. You shall talk later. 
in the medic's tent. Why do you want to talk to me? Magnificent, breathtaking. Okay. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, <laughs> raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. See to our young Yeah, that woman has no off. interest in that boy. We must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Thanks. Your grace. Shelmars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts Toussaint. for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. But he mm -hmm. didn't. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained, and as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated. We're completing another task altogether. Yeah, this is extra. You should pay me on top of it. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. She's but pretty. Look at that jewelry and embroidery. Come, we must find him. Why do you not know? This is. I don't know, lady! Wow, that guy's spear was like blah blah blah. Tell us, have you come alone, or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace. Oh yes. my I mean, gosh! No. Ugh. <sighs> yes, but solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Uh huh. Ah, the very man we would entrust with his tasks Damien de la Tour, captain of my mm -hmm. dun, dun. Your Grace. That knee bounce. Witcher. Greetings. Oh, yeah. Sorry to have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body. I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corpo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been Oh my sloppy? gosh, guys, it's my job! It's nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. It's your job to deal with, like, you know, regular investigations and stuff. It's my job to deal with monsters. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. Mm -hmm. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Hmm. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the A legends lot. true? Do Witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise? It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. 
On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners <laughs> or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. <laughs> I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings. Oh, the, the place the where all the dead people however, are. Will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But I, Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellor is bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, uh -huh. in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. Hi! Fount of information. How'd it start? Who was the first victim? Crespi was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. He did not grant it. He could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch that guy's found got him cool an hour scars. later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees. Meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, News of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Mm. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon de Lac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Du Lac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So I'm not sure what, yeah, victims of both older knights, not sure why the poor, I mean, I can see why the poor would be afraid too, but they're like, victims come from poor and rich alike, I'm like, or no, maybe he just said that the, that the fear strikes the poor and the rich alike or something, but obviously the only people who have been killed thus far are rich, older knights, you know what I mean, who have, uh, shady dealings. So... First two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinch. Found a coin pouch on his body, contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why, oh, why were there not, they're like, there's no similarity. Like, I feel like I was given a weird story at the beginning. Like, there's obviously a pattern. You could tell just from the first two. I mean, two is not enough to make a pattern. Like, but... Yeah. 
Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the... Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Hmm. Um, I wonder if we're gonna have five victims total, one for each. So the stingy one was murdered for generosity. And... And he was murdered in a gutter. The first one was... Oh, shoot. Wait, so one was... Right, he was, he had retired to the vineyard, the vineyard, the vineyard. Um, for him, maybe honor or valor. Okay, so, okay, so there was the one who was found with the sword tied around his neck. The other was found in the gutter, and this one was, this last one was found in the river. And no, he was the stingy one, he was the stingy one, so he was murdered for generosity. And then, oh man, now I'm, now I'm getting it mixed up. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Tusa, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, uh, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life that sounds honor, terrible. wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Be obedient and simple-minded, you peasants, but the older other ones will give all the opportunities in the world to have, you know, these great valors and become great soldiers and political savants and blah blah blah. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay. Like the last vampire we talked to! All humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Yeah! Wisdom by ridicule. Yeah! Generosity, Generosity I guess right! Shove down a throat. It seems to fit true, though not perfectly. No. Nah. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just so as sure and order. denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance <laughs> around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me, something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed the knightly team. It was years ago. Ah. Uh, wow, wow. Da did Damien really not? Like, after the first two? Well, maybe not after the first two, but. I and mean, I guess the third one was just happened, so, but. Something the investigation maybe not going so well, buddy boy. They were a team. They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. Something lead, I'm sure. this group did back in the day 
did something to upset a vampire. I don't know if the vampire is a good guy or a bad guy in this, but I know there's a vampire in it somewhere. Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. I Rather liked Milton. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my night, I shall take the fall. Oh. The murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses. She should say our, right? Because she's speaking in the royal we, right? 